Okay, in this video, I'm going to model um, the tomato soup can. So again, make it a new part, standard. This should be quick. Um, uh, yeah, this is this plane. I'm going to make a, a cylinder, essentially. Whatever. Okay. Uh, so the diameter is two and five eighths. Um, which is two five eighths. There's that. That's all there. And go to my home button so I can see it better. And I'm just going to extrude that four inches. Uh, home button again. Uh, let's see. Now we need to make it red. Uh, the properties here and I look for red starts with R stupid and possibly the same thing on the top I should have clicked them all all the all the surfaces hindsight 2020 um, there's red I don't think there there might be a property of a material that's red. I don't really know. In the um, in the list somewhere, but you could have been able to you know click on all the parts. This doesn't take that long. And then let's see. I guess um, for the eye properties, if you're looking at the density of the can. So the density of a tomato, um, condensed tomato soup is about 305 grams in 300 milliliters in the container. So it is really pretty close to one. So I'm gonna just leave that alone and not worry about things in material. And if we um, do a dynamic simulation, it'll use that density to determine the weight. So it'll be pretty close. Uh, so I'm gonna hit okay, go back to my home button um let's see save that as a part and let's see we'll call that soup soup king that's it bye okay now the next thing is uh, to kind of cheat and attach the soup can to the arm i'm going to put a couple of um uh cylinders sticking out of it uh but since it's a a cylinder I really can't make a sketch on that surface. Click, 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 nothing happens. So I'm going to create, let's see, which plane do I want to use? Uh, the X, Y, Z plane. So I'm going to add a plane that I can do a sketch on. So the Y, Z plane, and let me turn this down here, probably about an inch away from the center. Yeah, a little more. Mm, that should be good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out two small little cylinders and put holes into the arm and insert those two little cylinders into the arm as a constraint so it'll attach to it. Um, there's probably a way to do some tangent constraints with the edges of the soup can with the arm and the nail that I'm going to place on the bottom, but um, I couldn't figure it out. So this is just a, a, a cheater way to attach it because really you're going to use tape um, and, and wrap the cans around the arm with duct tape. And I'm not sure how to do that in Inventor. Um, maybe there's a rope or something. But um, this will just be an easy way. and You won't really see it. So here I've made my plane. Um, now I'm going to do a sketch on the surface, on the plane, sorry, and let's see, make a couple of circles. So I'll start with the bottom and I'll go a quarter inch up. And make a quarter inch circle. 
and go a quarter inch down from the top. So that would be 3.75. And make another quarter inch circle. And finish sketch. Now I'm going to go to extrude. Click on that one. And on this one. And if I look at it from the top view, half an inch will be. I just want to be sticking out enough where I can get those to attach and the arm about 0.25 that looks pretty good and okay so there's my revised soup can with some cheater holes um, so that I can attach these places an insert into the arm and hopefully get it at a distance where it's tangent to the surface and you really can't see anything um and this should work well it didn't work something uh was rather fishy with the insert now so when i check here and i figured this out after i went just playing around i'm going to look at the dimension between these two holes and i don't know what happened but somehow it's not three and a half inches so when I try the insert command, uh, Inventor was just like, uh, no. Um, hopefully you got this to the ender. I, I'm not really sure what I did, but I'm not going to re-edit the whole video. But um, this might have been something I should have done beforehand. It's just to make sure that the distances between these two holes was 3.5 inches uh, rather than just the measurement and so forth. That's just the construction dimension. It's not really going to change anything, although now it did move the, the, the two um, extrusions. <laughs> So that they were three and a half uh, from center to center apart, and now I just have to make sure that my arm is also has the two holes, <clears throat> three point five um, inches apart. So I'm, I'm going to do the same thing to my arm between the two holes that I made, and make sure that they're three and a half. So uh, now it works. All right. Good luck.